When are you going to give yourself up, Frank? I'm not going to. You've got to face that jury sometime. If you've got some romantic idea that I'm going to give myself up and face a jury that's stacked against me, you can forget it. What makes you so sure the jury's going to be against you? I mean, look, you're a smart girl. You know a lot about Jaguars, but don't tell me about a fix in a small town when it's mad or a card game when you haven't got any cards. Well, Frank, the whole world isn't against you. You'll get an even break if you give it a chance. Sure, give it a chance. Listen, Connie, all my life I've been trying to get by on my own because that's the way I figured it. After the Army, well, I saved some money, so I bought myself a truck. Not two trucks or a fleet. No partners, just me. Turned out I was bothering somebody. Guy who owned a lot of trucks. He tried everything. Undercut me, everything. But I figured I had my rights, so I stuck. And one of his drivers tried to run me off the road. All I was trying to do was keep from getting killed. And his truck went over the side. But how can they accuse you of murder? Two minutes later, one of his other drivers was there yelling his head off about how I drove his buddy over the cliff. He didn't even seem to care much that he was dead. Why did you break out of jail? No jury in the world would convict you if you told them what happened. If I got to a jury. Those truckers were coming to get me. They weren't waiting for a trial. I had to break out of jail. That gang of hoodlums probably slept it off the next morning. If you go back now, they won't have anything to do with it. They've got everything to do with it. But you can't prove you're innocent running away. I can't prove it dead.